Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys predicted to hand $155 million contract to All Pro. The Dallas Cowboys have multiple contract extensions looming, and one of them will probably be the definition of a bank breaker. Besides potential new deals for QB Dak Prescott and pass rusher Micah Parsons, wide receiver CeeDee Lamb is also due a huge payday. Lamb is coming off a first-team All-Pro campaign and only has one year left remaining on his rookie deal. He has established himself as an elite receiver, and that's why Bleacher Report writer Alex Ballantini believes the team will make him one of, if not the highest-paid WR in the NFL. Of the top receivers on the market, Lamb feels like the least likely to be on the move. A contract that pays him $31 million annually qualifies and the Cowboys have the future cap space to make it happen. He's certainly earned it after putting in his first All-Pro season in 2023. Prediction. Lamb signs a five-year, $155 million extension this summer, Valentini wrote on April 6. Lamb has only gotten better each season, and his on-field relationship with Prescott was at its best in 2023. That being said, part of the issue with extending Lamb is Prescott himself. Prescott is also in need of an extension, but recent reports have stated that Dallas has not offered one. The Cowboys have to be smart about not overbooking when it comes to big extensions. CeeDee Lamb sets career bests Lamb has stepped up his production each year, but 2023 was different gravy. The former Oklahoma Sooner put out personal bests in almost every statistical category. According to Sports Reference, his 135 receptions cleared his previous best. 107 in 2022, by considerable margin. It also led the entirety of the NFL. Further, his 1749 receiving yards last season was almost 400 yards more than his previous best. The same goes for his touchdowns, as Lamb totaled double-digit scores for the first time in his career with 12 TD catches. He also added two rushing scores to boot. In a year where the 25-year-old needed to maximize his value, Lamb didn't just help his case with Dallas. He proved that he is one of the best WRs in the league and deserves to be paid accordingly. NFL exec believes Cowboys are trying to lowball Prescott as mentioned above, Dallas has yet to extend Prescott and don't seem to be in a rush to do so. According to The Athletic reporter Mike Sando, an anonymous NFL exec believes the team's lack of free agency additions could be purposefully setting up a mediocre season for both the team and Prescott. If the guy wants $60 million a year, you know what we are going to do instead, the anonymous executive said. We are going to have an average team, and you are going to play worse and we are going to get you at a better price. Tanking for a draft pick isn't unheard of, but doing so just to get a QB on a cheaper deal is. Perhaps the exec is onto something with Prescott, but this is a comment that feels more like a rib on the Cowboys than a serious plan. Former Dolphins All-Pro predicted to land with Cowboys in free agency. Xavier Howard was released by the Miami Dolphins this offseason, allowing the All-Pro cornerback to hit the market at 30 years old. Howard, who played in the fewest games of his career in 2023, could make an impact for a contending team as a veteran. Of the potential landing spots, Zach Cook of SportsGrid predicts the Dallas Cowboys will sign Howard. Cook questions if Howard can return to being a lockdown corner in 2024, a fair question after allowing the highest completion percentage of his career in seasons he played more than five games in. Xavier Howard was released by the Miami Dolphins this offseason. Howard's health was a question mark in 2023, but we know what he's capable of when he's on the field. Did he lose a step, or can he return to being a lockdown corner in 2024? The talent didn't go anywhere but we know what can happen when a defender loses a step. Why the Dolphins released Howard The Miami Dolphins released Howard to create cap space. Releasing Howard saved $18.5 million on the salary cap by making his release a post-June 1st designation. Howard expected it to happen, according to Kevin Patra of NFL.com. I was expecting it to happen, he said. In this business you know how it goes. You feel it. Eight years here, and I've seen the business side of it so many times. Me and my agent talked about it before we signed our last deal that that's how it was gonna happen, and it ended up happening. I wasn't surprised at all, 
The Dolphins already found their replacement in Kendall Fuller, a Super Bowl champion with the Kansas City Chiefs who most recently for with the Washington Commanders. Fuller signed a two-year deal worth $15 million, so the deal also saved the Dolphins money. How Howard would help the Cowboys While Howard has dealt with injuries during his time with the Miami Dolphins, he's still a four-time Pro Bowl selection and finished top three in Defensive Player of the Year voting in 2020. In that 2020 season, Howard led the league in interceptions with 10, two seasons after leading the league with seven. The Dallas Cowboys or any team that signs him would hope to get half of that, but Howard has just two interceptions in the past two seasons combined. Matthew Lennox of Blogging the Boys writes that the Cowboys can show their all-in by pursuing Howard. Things are a little different these days, or so says team owner Jerry Jones. After retaining head coach Mike McCarthy despite another early exit in the playoffs, Jones says the team is all-in for the 2024 season. Wheel, they can show that by pursuing one of the NFL's best cornerbacks, Xavier Howard. Lennox also writes that due to Trevon Diggs' ACL injury, it's uncertain how long it'll take for him to get back to himself. The Cowboys will get Trevon Diggs back next season, but coming off a torn ACL, there's no telling how long it will take for him to get back to himself although a year will have passed once he's back at it. Stefan Diggs to be a free agent in 2025 setting up opportunity to play with brother Trevon Diggs. This week the Dallas Cowboys brought back offensive lineman Chuma Edoga which fortified their depth in the trenches. It should not have changed their draft strategy by the way. Shortly before that news broke it was reported that the Houston Texans were trading for wide receiver Stefan Diggs which was obviously a blockbuster type move. Many Cowboys fans quickly pointed out that Dallas hosts Houston in 2024 which means we should finally get to see Trevon Diggs cover his brother in an NFL game. Trevon was obviously hurt this past season when the Cowboys visited the Buffalo Bills which would have actually been the first chance. Stefan landing in the state of Texas hardly puts him on the same team as his brother, but we know that the duo really wants to play together. Consider that last year Trevon petitioned during an interview with us for Cowboys Nation to tweet about getting his brother to Dallas. At the time Stefan seemed pretty ungettable given the contract extension he had recently signed with the Buffalo Bills. Still though, it was notable that Trevon would go out on such a limb like that. Obviously this quote made the rounds and shortly after Stefan himself was asked about it. He shared that it was a dream to play with his brother. That was last year. An entire season happened between then and now, one that was lost for Trevon and frustrating for Stefan. Throughout the low points of the year Trevon could be found tweeting things about his brother needing to separate from the Buffalo Bills. As noted, that officially happened which brings us back to where we are today. But where we are today is also a world where Stefan has a reworked deal with his new team in the Houston Texans.